by the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria is expected to sell three banks that it acquired two years ago by 2014. In 2011, Amcon acquired the assets of the former Afri Bank PHB and Spring Banks after their owners failed to present credible recapitalization plans to the central bank. The newly formed banks were widely expected to struggle in Nigeria's fiercely competitive banking sector, but however, Amcon owned Enterprise Bank has reported a full year profit of 11.3 billion naira. That's compared to a loss of 5.2 billion naira in the five months to December 2011. I'm now joined on the line by Ahmed Kuru, the CEO of Enterprise Bank, for more on the bank's turnaround strategy. Thank you so much, Mr. Kuru, for joining us. And I think it would be, be good to understand how you've been able to achieve what may, I think many people call very impressive growth. You made a loss of $5 billion the year before. Now you've swung very strongly into profits. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, as you're already familiar with the Nigerian economy, uh, it possesses a lot of potentials. Um, there's a lot of uh, business for financial intermediation. And when we came on board, what we tried to do initially is to put structures on ground that will support business because we are conscious of the fact that we are also meeting other financial institutions that are very strong and have a very good track record. All right. And but uh, if, if you can get a little more detail uh, in terms of exactly how you've been able to achieve this, of course, there's a lot of pressure, uh, funding cost pressures in Nigeria's banking space, given the mo tight monetary policy. And of course, we also know that in the fixed income side, quite a few banks have made significant, um, reported significant success in bonds trading and fixed income trading in general. So can you just give us a little more color on where you are seeing the, the strong performance? Yeah, yeah, you know, like I wanted to say, there's a lot of business potentials in the market. Of course, there could be some monetary uh, squeeze here and there, but what is happening is that there's a lot of liquidity in the market, and you also have a lot of businesses that are also looking for funding. And that is why when you look at the financials for most of the banks, the net, net interest margin is very good. And uh, the cost of doing business is also going down. So because of those combinations and the fact that it is a growing, is the fastest growing economy in the world, there is so much for banks to do in terms of money market, in terms of project financing, and in terms of the retail, because the retail now is picking up. And quite a number of companies are coming into Nigeria, and uh, when, once they come into Nigeria, they, are good, they look for good financial institutions that they can rely on that can support them to achieve you know, their corporate objectives. So oh. typically, uh, the environment has been made conducive by Central Bank of Nigeria and other regulators to be able to uh, remain profitable. Okay. Also, uh, has become a very big issue with Central well, Bank. like I mentioned earlier, it, it's positive to see that one of the Amcom banks is reporting um, profits now, and clearly for any investors looking to invest in your bank, this is a very um, positive development. But speak more to your strategy going forward and how you are, intend to approach the market. Yes, you know, for us, when we came on board, we came with a mindset to do business for the future. So obviously, we put a lot of structures on ground to sustain what whoever will take over from us. So that is why we invested heavily in technology, we invested heavily in human capital, we invested heavily in alternative channels of delivery, so that whoever comes on board Will, make, will find it very easy, you know, to drive it and fit in their own, you know, strategy and their own objective. So our strategy is to target the retail market because we realize that the retail market has not been 20% banked. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So we, we want to celebrate ourselves as, as a retail bank and we'll continue to invest towards being a retail bank so that whoever buys us will see that uh, opportunity in the, uh, in the, in the, in the bank. You know, for going forward. All right. So you're focused on the retail segment of the market. Um, there's yes. been a lot of focus, even from the central bank, on uh, issues like financial inclusion. So clearly, retail is, is, is on the agenda in Nigeria these days. So uh, give us a little more insight on how you're approaching the market, though, because a lot of people will say that retail is a risky place to be, especially when it comes to lending. Yeah, yeah yes, you see, but, but let me tell you go to any, if you look at the data that you have currently in Nigeria, I can tell you that. The MP ratio on, on, on retail lending is the lowest because retail, retail loans are driven by products. And most of those guys at the lower end, I can tell you that unless something drastic happens to their business, they always honor their obligations. Mm. And uh, the opportunities are there, consumer products, you know, uh, retail products. So many things are happening, cards, you know, in the retail aspect. And like, like we said, 80% of uh, the uh, 
Nigerian banking, bankable industry is yet to be banked. Right. 80%. So this financial inclusion, which we have started with Borno State, and which are going to spread to other states, we right. tried to bring a lot of people into the banking system. Right. And if you can, it, if you can leave us with a final word, because um, I need to wrap this up now. But if you can leave us with your projections for this year, how you, how do you see growth on top of the performance we saw last year? Yes, you know, generally this year is going to be a difficult year for the banking industry. I can tell you, because consciously we are trying to see how we can also be relevant to the real sector, and which means with the squeeze that we are seeing in the monetary policies, and with the uh, intention and the good. Uh, 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 moves by the uh, banks themselves to reduce interest rate. Obviously, uh, most banks this year, while they will be able to uh, expand, but in terms of income, there will be a little uh, a squeeze, I can tell you. But for us, I can tell you that uh, we, are, we are building on what we've done last year so that we'll be able to uh, have a steady and right. sustainable growth for this year. All right, Mr. Kuru, thank you so much for joining us. Ahmed Kuru is the CEO of Enterprise Bank, sharing his thoughts on the Nigerian banking sector.